Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a painted again. I love doing these. They're really inspiring and exciting to be able to look and directly compare how I've improved, where I've improved at, and also places that maybe I've taken a step back in improvement. So this one is the one that I've been wanting to repaint for a little while now. I've been thinking about it because it's actually one that I still I still really enjoy. I love the concept of it. I actually really just, I love this piece. There are plenty of flaws, but there's a lot of charm to it too, which I, I really enjoy being able to look at an old piece and have fondness for it and not just, not just looking at, at it with a more critical eye. So anyways, this one actually, the original was the very final assignment that I had in my watercolor class in college. And it was actually the very last semester of my whole college career. So this is like right at the end, right before I went off to, to be all on my own as I was trying to continue learning and growing. So it's, it's, it's this nice little benchmark of the transition between when I was going to classes and I had instructors and I had that structure behind how I was learning how to get better and then to the point where I was just off on my own and I still wanted to get better and I was still practicing that but I had to figure it out on my own so it's kind of fun to be able to look at this and and really see the progression that I've made I actually am not really even sure when I graduated I know that it's been at least a couple years but yeah <laughs> anyway so looking at the first one this is what I always like to do when I'm going to do a paint this again is I, I make sure that I take stock of what things do I really enjoy about that original? What things do I think makes it special and makes me still fond of it? And then what are the things that I now think that I could do better at? And also what are the things that I remember if I do remember that I struggled with originally? So some of the things that I love about this is I, I love the subject matter, of course, and since I'm drawing it again, that's a given. It's going to be the same subject matter, but I also love the grouping of colors. I still really love this where the background is all cool colors and the figure is all warm colors and she can stand out with that contrast. I just I really love colors that are grouped together with like colors. I think it looks really, really pretty. So that was one thing that that of course I wanted to continue and I, I really did want to just jump off with that color palette. But one of the things that I very vividly remember struggling with is I, I had a really hard time delineating the different elements in the background and then the different elements in the character from each other. They all ended up the same value and very similar colors. So for my new one, I wanted to be able to control the values better so that there's separation to it in the way that I want it to. There's better readability. I can look at it and and see where one thing ends and the next begins. And that that was like the main thing. I actually really vividly remember the night that I worked on this piece. It was the very last night before I had to turn it in. It was super late and I was so frustrated with it because it was just not turning out the way that I was imagining. And I remember painting layer on top of layer of paint on the background. And it just ended up, I, in retrospect, I think it actually looks really pretty, but it was this really mottled, blended, kind of muddy color. And uh, yeah, I, I remember that. I remember someone after class coming up and saying that they thought it looked pretty cool. And I was like, oh, thanks. I was feeling so frustrated with it. And I said, I'd probably like it more after a little while passed. And I feel like that's the case with a lot of pieces sometimes is in the moment while you're working on it, you just, you see all of those things that you're really struggling with in the moment. And it's so frustrating, but when you give it some space and some time and you look at it later on, you can see all of the merits that you really liked about it. Okay. So for the first thing that I wanted to improve on, I wanted more delineation between the different elements of the figure and then the different elements of the background. But for that first original painting, they, the colors that I chose for the figure, I, I used the same pigments for, for every element. I wanted it to have this almost monochromatic for the, for the figure. So I kept picking the same colors and I love doing that actually, but I, I ended up doing it so that every element overall was basically the same color 
her skin was just a little bit different from her hair and that was just a little bit different from her clothes but overall they did end up blocking together so much when you step back and look at it they all just mush into one shape so i wanted to take different paints, different colors that I used in the original figure and then just localize them. So for her clothing, I picked out the yellows and the orangey colors that I had and I made it predominantly that yellow color and then I used the pink to shade it so it still had that tie in. And then I made her skin that pink with the purples that I could find in the original. And then I made the hair really pink. That was the, the main place that I wanted to focus that pink color that was the main color of the original figure. And I'm much happier with that. When you look at her, she does have much more readability to her. You can see where one thing ends and the next begins. So that's, I think, a definitely an improvement. One thing that I, I was debating on whether I wanted to do for the character itself is I was thinking about doing another glaze of the pink color on her skin because once I painted her very pink hair, the skin ended up looking a little bit more pale and less saturated. And I really actually love how the original, she has like pink skin. And in the end I didn't, but I think maybe going back, I, I might do it. I might add it. For now, it's gonna stay this way though, where there's there's a little bit more separation. She's not quite as as pink skinned as the original. But the biggest takeaway that I've, I'm seeing between the two different styles and the two different pieces is really the anatomy. I actually really love the style of the original one where it, I was able to just sit down and draw. I remember actually looking and searching for reference for forever for this specific yoga pose that I had in my mind that I wanted. And I just didn't really love the, the lack of graphic shapes that, that I could find in those references. So I ended up just drawing out what I had in my head and anatomically it was not nearly as accurate as my new version, but I feel like I really love that, that shape of how her legs just tuck together in this kind of bowed shape to it. And I, I love that. I love being able to just play with the shapes and the lines of the figure and and now I really do want to push more in the direction that I've been working on where I'm trying to get better anatomy and more of a lifelike approach to drawing characters. And I'm much happier with that. But when I'm directly comparing it to something where I could just like let loose and just really play with, with the stylization of the character, it does kind of make me miss that a little bit. So I don't know, I might need to find ways to, to add a little bit more life and character to to the characters that I do draw so they can still be anatomically correct, but they can also be a little bit more, more interesting, more something. I don't know. I just, yeah, I don't know. I really do like that though. I like, I like the original. It's, it's fun. It's different. It's very different from what I, I've been working on and what I've been doing and what I've been trying to get away from. And for the background, again, I wanted there to be separation in the values. That was the big thing that was super frustrating is that when I was doing the original one is that I, I did layers and then suddenly it was like, oh my gosh, everything is the same value. It's all blending in. And it really was when I look at it, everything is the same level of dark background. And I, I really wanted the character to still pop off of some darker elements in the background, but I also wanted some mid tone and lighter elements in the background so that there was more separation, more interest to the piece. And there's, easier breakups of when you're looking at the background. I I do think that I, I wish that I had actually made the lighter areas in the background a bit darker so that overall she just really popped off from, from the background. This kind of like a spiky design thing behind her head. I, I would have liked if it was just a touch darker so it did have a little bit more of a secondary read. But I did also choose to make it significantly lighter than the original because I wanted it to have like this halo effect around her head. And since it was going to be lighter and then darker on the inside and then the character, I, I thought that it would have the, the look that I wanted. But really, I don't know, there's just something about this like, it, it was based on like a, a rose window, a stained glass rose window. 
and I, I don't know, that original one, I just really love it. And I could not capture that same energy as that original one. I spent so long very carefully crafting this, this new design where it's much more, much more symmetrical and, and everything lines up correctly. And the original, it was not, the little segments are all kind of their own shape and size, but it just has a lot more sharpness to it and interest. So th that's like the one thing where it's like, when I look at this, the original still surpasses in that, in that particular area. I don't know. I, I think that maybe I just needed to spend more time on it. If I had given myself as much time as I wanted to just finesse that, I think I could have gotten to the right, to the right outcome. I could have made it look closer to, to what I loved out of the original. I'm just so happy that I've finally been able to do a paint this again for this specific piece. I loved it. I, I had a lot of fun painting this one. I do actually have the original and prints of this one available at my shop. So if you'd like to own Lotus, the name of this painting, then there is a link down in the description that'll take you over to my art shop where you can check that out. I do want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are incredible. You help me to be able to make these videos and make more artwork. So thank you. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I will be back next week with another art video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.